everyone, and welcome to our 19th episode of Highlights from the Permanent Collection. My name is Mac, and we'll be continuing our journey through pieces on display here in the Eisenstadt Collection at the Dishman Art Museum. Today, we'll be talking about Italian artist Mattia Preti and his piece behind us titled Caleb and the Spies. Before we jump in talking about the piece specifically, I'm first going to tell you a little bit about the artist himself. Mattia Preti is an Italian broker and painter, born in 1613 in southern Italy. Initially, Preti painted as a follower of Caravaggio, but eventually his style was inspired by artists Paolo Veronese and Giovanni LaFranco. Beginning in 1630, Mattia and his brother Gregory shared a room while studying at an art academy in San Luca. While in Rome, Preti created his best bird paintings, which include the frescoes at minor basilicas St. Andrea and St. Carlo. He began working in Naples just before a catastrophic plague in 1656, which is commemorated into a set of seven rather large frescoes, which are still on display. In 1661, Preti settled in Malta, where he remained until his death in 1699. He executed numerous murals for cathedrals and churches across the island. Preti ranks as a key influence on painting in Naples during the 17th century and is remembered by his pieces in churches and renowned museums across the globe, including the Louvre, the Met, the National Gallery of Art, the J. Paul Getty Museum, the Art Institute of Chicago, and here at the Dishman Art Museum. Alongside next week's piece, Mattia Preti's Caleb and the Spies was the first donation to the Dishman by Ruth and Heinz Eisenstadt before the bequest of the entire collection here at the Dishman. Created in circa 1630 to 1640, most likely in Rome, the title Caleb and the Spies tells a narrative from a Bible story of the Twelve Spies. Spies is a loose translation of a Hebrew word meaning man or prince and should not be associated with the normal meaning of spy. This piece shows the spies, named Caleb, Joshua, and another unknown one, traveling back from a land that they were sent to explore. This land was said to be promised land from God, but all of the spies, excluding Caleb and Joshua, were unconvinced of the land's potential, despite the grape clusters being so large it took multiple men to carry. Out of the twelve spies, Caleb and Joshua were different in spirit, and because so, God allowed them to travel to the promised land, while the rest of the Israelites were left to wander in the desert for 40 years. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Highlights from the Permanent Collection. I hope you join us next week as we discuss American painter Thomas Moran's piece here at the Eisenstadt Collection in the Dishman Art Museum. See you next time.